I tell you what, don't let anyone ever dare tell you that your voice doesn't matter. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you should be silenced. That little old fans aren't the heartbeat of this game. Football is absolutely flying fuck all without me and without you. Without these people that make up the lifeblood of this game. Don't let every, anyone ever tell you you can't be heard. Because you fucking can. You can stand there and shout from the rooftops. And if enough of us get together and believe in something and fight the damn fucking good fight, I tell you what, we can be heard. This is a victory for fans. If this happens and it looks like it's gonna happen, you better fucking believe this is a big deal because this is changing football and we are fucking powerful and you should fucking believe that. I'm sorry I am aggressive because I care and I've been devastated for the past couple of days like all of you watching this because it felt like the club that we loved was being ripped away from us and it felt like they didn't hear us. And I tell you what, nothing more than that hurts. It hurts more than anything feeling like your club and you believe after 30 years watching this club man you believe they care about you and to find out overnight that actually they don't but now to find out that you can sit there and you can talk and you can express how you feel and you can make enough noise that they simply have to bow down to us the people that matter, and they don't matter, I'm sorry, but they don't, the people that matter, long after they're gone and dead and whatever, and they've moved on, these will be the people that are still here, us, we will be the fans, we will be the fans that are still there, and I tell you what, this is a victory for the little guys, uh, tell you what, right now, we're not that little, are we, we are not that little, we're pretty fucking big, we are massive, and I'm delighted, delighted for every single one of you watching this stream. City are going to withdraw from the Premier League, and I cannot be happier right now, because this is a victory for every single one of us. It's not a victory for Manchester City. It's a victory for fans of every single club, and I hope, and hope, and hope right now, right now, that this is a change and that the other clubs see sense and I know football is corrupt and I know there's a long way to go and I know reforms need to happen and I know deep down this is only scratching the tip of the ice, we're only scratching at the surface and I know there's so much more to be said and football is a mess. But this is just the start and we've shown how important it was to stand up. And it feels fucking huge because it is huge. This is nothing more than fan power. This is that. This is us getting together and showing what can happen. And we need to remember this. I'm sorry when fans are trying to mock City or we're trying to mock Liverpool United. We need to remember that, to be honest, we are all in this together. We are all fans. We are fighting the same causes. And we are the ones affected by the same thing. That inherent greed. That absolute dis dismissal of us as individuals and as fans of this club we have to carry on with this we have to band together because i tell you what man this is absolutely everything i'm fucking delighted i'm delighted um, absolutely delighted i've just seen i've just seen a tweet from kevin de Bruyne. apparently it's not just english teams apparently atletico are going to pull out right now it is crumbling because it was built on nothing more than greed it was not built on anything other than an insatiable desire for the dollar bill i'm sorry football isn't that game it is that game but if you want to make a quick fucking book Fuck off somewhere else. Go find a new business to invest in because football ain't that. Football will never be that and it never will be that as much as you want it to be because football is different. Football has this community, this absolute uh, indelible, unbreakable tie with the people who obsess over it in a way that other sports, in my opinion, simply cannot relate to. Don't question us. Do not doubt the passion and the intensity of football fans because this club is the life of so many people and these other clubs are the lifeblood of so many people and we care. And we care more than you. We care more than you, you owners, and you think you don't realise just that you poked the wrong fucking hornet's nest. And we won't let you forget it, and we shouldn't let him forget it either. I tell you what, and I mean this now, do not let this club forget it. We'll forgive them because we love them. I know we will, but they should not, not walk away lightly from this. They should not think that they've got off and we won't remember this. We, they need to be fucking contrite. They need to apologise to us because they threaten the fabric of this game. We need, we need, we need to keep going with this because right now... 
We're on the tip of something here. This could be a tipping point for football in general. We have to keep pulling at this thread. Every single one of you watching, man, this is just the start. This could be the revolution that football needs. And I'm not exaggerating here. I am not exaggerating because we stood up to greed and self-service. And we stood up for the rights of fans that they do not, do not, do not have a leg to stand on. It's amazing news. Absolutely delighted. I'm genuinely delighted. More and more news is breaking. I know there's been some super chats and comments and all that kind of stuff. Big love to every single one of you. I really appreciate it. Scott Denemy, absolute legend. Scott saying, let's go. I feel your pain, Steve. Glad to see you in better spirits. Mate, this feels like we just won a fucking trophy. It feels absolutely huge. It shouldn't feel huge. And it's crass that I'm sitting here celebrating this. But I tell you what right now, this is a victory for us. It's not a victory for the clubs. This is a victory for us. One that they can't celebrate one that we can we can celebrate and we should do Oliver saying rumours say that Atletico Barca and AC Milan are next let's go indeed yeah run off to your little holes you clubs back to that little trough that you all crept out from amazing news so much. I'm just delighted. I'm absolutely ecstatic. Big love as well to Mo Mello, who's become a member. Absolutely appreciated, mate. Lewis Baker saying, we have done it. Let's go. Uh, we have indeed. Um, <laughs> do not let this slip. Now, I've, I've been serious here. Do not let this chance to make a point uh, go, because th this is more than this. This is more than anything we could possibly imagine. Rob, thank you so much for the support, mate, as well. Um, this is our club. This is our club, and they need to know that, man. They need to know that. We need to remind them, and I'm glad we have. Well done, Pep, as well, by the way. Pep stood up to this, and I'm fucking delighted. Absolutely delighted. Who's ringing me? Um, I don't know who's messaging me. Um, <laughs> my mum's saying, are you okay, Steve? Uh, I'm going to I'll ring her just right now. I am more than okay. I'm absolutely okay because she's, she's not heard from me all day. I'm just letting her know right now that I'm live um, and that I'm very happy and I'm very delighted. Um, <laughs> I'm just ringing her on Facebook because I need to. Um, I'm live right now, by the way. I'm very okay because City have just pulled out of the Super League and I'm fucking delighted. Uh, <laughs> 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 Gotta go. See you later. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm all right, mum. There's your answer to your question. Uh, absolutely delighted, man. What a time to be alive. What a time to be... To feel like a fan. Do you not get that rush? Do you not feel that adrenaline? Because if you don't feel that adrenaline, you're not alive right now. And I'm sorry. Sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you need to feel... Feel that adrenaline rush. Uh, likewise, Eden, get in, mate. Josh saying, Pep, Pep's a fucking legend, man. He's an absolute legend. Absolutely legend. Um, wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Patrick plays. Let's go, Stephen. I'm so happy. I am indeed. Let me go and find this. There's more and more breaking. More and more breaking news. I'll go and find it all. It's just kicking off big time. Ah, wonderful stuff. United are pulling out the Super League as well. City have pulled out the Super League. Uh, we're getting our game back, man. We're getting our game back. It's disbanding. It's falling apart. And good. You go and crawl into your caves again. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne shared. Kevin De Bruyne, that's our captain. Our captain. Uh, I love him. I absolutely love him. And what a guy. What a guy. He shared this. He said, this man comes out of a little town out of Belgium, dreaming of playing at the highest level possible. I've represented the Belgian, German and English leagues and also proudly represented my country. I have worked to compete against everybody trying to win the ultimate. But the most important word in this is competing. Fuck yes, Kev. He went on to say, of all the events that have been happening in the last few days, maybe this is the good moment for everyone to come together and try and work for a solution. We know this is a big business and I know I'm part of this business, but I'm still a little boy who just loves to play football. It's not about a certain entity in this case. It's about football all over, over the whole world. Let's keep inspiring the next generation of footballers and keep the fans dreaming. My fucking captain, man. Absolutely love him. Love you. What a man, what a man, genuinely what a man. Uh, this empire, it's crumbling, man. You can't buy us, you can't buy us, you can't buy us. And I care, I care man, I care. Like, I know I've seen over the top right now, but I'm just happy because this is absolutely massive. Uh, all minutes everywhere now, mate. It's absolutely everywhere now. It is all over, it's, it's all over. It's breaking down, it's crumbling, it was built on sand, they didn't care about each other. I said a few days ago on Twitter, yesterday on Twitter, they never trusted each other, they never did, and it was built on money, it was built on a shallow premise, so we always really had to keep going, and that's what's happened, that is what's happened, we went for it, we went for it, and look what's happened. Ah, Rohan, we <laughs> 
Rowan, uh, let's go. Perez is too old, too old to pull out anyway. <laughs> Big love, man. Big love. This is uh, a big, 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 big moment. Absolutely a big moment. I am delighted. I am. And do you know what as well? I want to say, I'm not sure if any Man City uh, staff are watching this, but I know there's a couple of people who work uh, for City, and I know a couple of people involved in that tweet today from the City Club, and good on you, you brave little bastard. Good on you. Good on you, those involved in that, and good on you having the balls to do that as well and send those tweets from Guardiola. And good on everyone, man. Good on everyone, because... This is about principle. This is more than just football. This is about standing up for what we think is right. And I'm sorry, it isn't sport. Guardiola is right. It isn't sport. <laughs> football without competition in a closed shop. I, I'm, I know some people like it. I know some people like the NFL and NBA, but that isn't for me. And what makes football so exciting for me is that edge. That any moment, anyone could be anywhere with a little bit of luck. And that's what makes it special. And we have to preserve that. And I know, and I know the football is uneven these days. And I know Manchester City are a big part of that. And I know we're complicit in it. I'm not naive, but at least, at least there's still the element, the element of competitiveness there. And at least we still. Uh, we're not going to shit all over uh, the likes of West Ham and Aston Villa. At least we're going to make sure that we play them and treat them with respect as well. And that absolutely matters. Uh, absolutely matters to me. And it matters, t- it matters to everyone in football. A massive day. A massive day. Because once again, our voices are important. Pep's Olivia Stone Cold's done it to press. Pep has. And I'm sure football should be thanking Pep because he was the strongest to come out about this. Klopp came out last night and he was he was good, Klopp, last night. Pep took it another level. And I've heard, by the way, I've heard what those press conferences, the embargoed quotes tonight. Pep was apparently almost shouting at times about it last night. And that's going to come out at half ten. But Pep was livid, apparently. Um... So, big up Pep, man. Big up. Pep's got principles and he's got balls and he's fucking used them, man. Simon, nice. Next, now we can go back to hating your way for exactly, exactly. Sec- <laughs> Champions League exit. Safi, yes, team, we've done it. KDB is our captain. What a guy. Perez can go and hide in a hole now. He can indeed, man. He can indeed. Perez, you snidey little sniveling bastard. You are not for us. You do not represent football fans and you do not speak for football fans. You can tell us 16 to 24 year olds aren't paying attention to the game anymore. But I'm sorry, most of the people watching this video right now fall within that and I know how much they care about this club. They care about it. They care about it deeply. Their, few, their lives are intertwined. In it. If I had a tenner for every single time uh, a fan overseas who was between their age brackets like, I'm moving to Manchester just as what Manchester City to be close to that club. You're going to tell me that they aren't interested in football anymore. You're going to tell me that these fans from all over the world, that they're not paying attention. They do everything. They watch every single game, man. They absolutely obsess over football. So don't you dare, Perez. Don't you fucking dare try and tell us how our fans support these clubs. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. It's disrespectful. It's rude. And it's not on. And it's incorrect as well. And they don't speak for us. This is massive. Um... Uh, where have I gone for? This is massive. It is indeed little yours. Uh, the right outcome. Let's get the treble. Indeed. I tell you what, my relationship with City is definitely, definitely, um, it's been damaged irrepar- irreparably. It really has. It's absolutely huge. But um, I'm going to see what's going on. Uh, City, the first out. <sighs> Well done. It's like you're still, you still have the intent. I'm not going to forgive them for it. And it's great that they backed out of it. Um, a cynic in me because because they can afford to. So they know what they're doing. But either way, they've done it. They've done it. Long live football. No to the European Super League. City were the first. And do you know what it tells you? They listened to us. <laughs> we got through to the players. We got through to Pep. We are officially out. Get in there. I can smile again, says Pete Churchill. It's emotional, emotional. Uh, I am delighted, though. For every single one of us. I know I keep saying this, but it's for every single one of us, this victory. It's for football fans of any club at any level. Because I know football is utterly decrepit. And I know football is run by money. Um, but this is... This is a big step, big step. Get in, it says Omar, indeed, indeed. Christian saying, the way for system needs to change, but the Super League is not the way. And we need to not stop there. And Christian is absolutely right. Thank you so much for the support, by the way. This is not where it stops. It can't stop there. We have to go with the Champions League reform as well. We can't let the Champions League be like this. We can't let the Champions League... Um, 
be this monstrosity where some teams get in by by their status they have to get there for on it and we cannot stop now don't stop now have the same energy for the champions league proposals because they are not good man they are not good they are not they are just as horrible in their own slimy way and the two sides are the same ugly fucking coin and they are if coin being the <laughs> the very prescient word there don't let anyone get in for their for their richness don't get anyone through the size it should all all be based on merit, always, it always should do, um, and I'm delighted, man, I'm delighted, uh, Northern Rangers saying Gary called in Monday Night Football, Neville did, and fair play for him taking a stance, he's, he's a hypocrite in some ways, and I'm a hypocrite in some ways, and fans are, and he admitted that, and he had the balls to admit it, and so did Carragher as well, and you're right, and I, I can only admire that he stood up for it, I can only, I can only admire, admire. Um, every single one is as well, man, like some people said fans who are reacting. Some people said fans wouldn't be heard. Some people said we need to get on with it and move from the Super League. But I tell you what, those who are defending the Super League, I'm sorry, you're entitled to your opinion, but in my opinion, and in Guardiola's opinion, and Kevin De Bruyne's opinion, and billions of fans' opinions, you were wrong. And I understand you wanted it, but that isn't football. Football doesn't do that, and it should never do that. And the second that we accept that is the second football is dead. And that is why some things are more important than a few fancy games. Some things are more important, and this is it, man. This is it. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. Do not stop. Do not stop here. Do not stop. Let's go after UEFA. And I'm, I mean this, man. I mean this. I tell you what, on a personal level, I am going to Cornwall with Nicola tomorrow for a break, and I am going to be dancing down the south. I am going to be singing all the way there, and I can't wait to have a few days to clear my head. Um, and hopefully, you can all watch Aston Villa tomorrow, and you can enjoy it. Maybe I'll catch it tomorrow night. I don't know, because I'm going to be away. But all I know right now is this is a wonderful time to be alive. It's wonderful, man. Uh, Lord Brindley saying, this is huge for fan power. It is indeed, mate. It's absolutely huge. This has given us a voice that many of us didn't know we had. We don't have to take these season ticket increases. We don't have to take uh, being shunted to playing on a Friday night with no train. Speak with your fucking mouths, man. Speak with your feet as well. And don't buy the tickets. I'm sorry, but it has to start here. This has to become a movement. Lord Brindley saying this is huge fan power. Buzzing, we backed out. We deserve a big apology and explanation from Cal Dune and Soriano. You're right. I saw someone tweet, you should be, hi, I'm Ferran, and I, 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 I'm Soriano. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, oh, no. yeah, yeah, I agree, I know. Um, Reach your rifle saying the doubt said our voices didn't matter, but the money speaks louder. I thought I was all doomed. Honestly, so did I, mate. I genuinely did, and um, I did, but I was wrong, and I've never been happy to be wrong. Honestly, crying since so many futures have been saved by our voices, the fans. Exactly, mate, exactly. This is bigger than all of us. This is this is a collective. This is about football. <sighs> This is absolutely huge, man. Absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. Alex C saying, very well said on the Liverpool channel this morning, Steve. You captured our money's feeling at the moment really well. Thank you so much, man. I was on Redman TV. Uh, me, uh, Redman TV, Arsenal fan TV, Goldbridge was on there, Rory Jennings, and uh, Flav from uh, Spurs fan as well. And I spoke from the heart, and I always will do, man. Always will do. Um, it's important. It's important because fundamentally, this is this is our lives, and it is our lives. And I'm not being melodramatic, but it is our lives, and it means stuff to us. And we should never, ever, ever give up on our principles, ever. Because what is life? And some things are more important. Some things are. And I didn't want to watch Manchester City fans having to fly all over the world to see these games, and that's what's going to happen. I didn't want to see the Premier League devalued. I didn't want to see the domestic cups go. I didn't want to see all these clubs struggling and create this even bigger divide that already exists. I didn't want to see it. The long ball. As great as this is, we cannot forget UEFA and FIFA are not the good guys. Correct. They're just as corrupt as the owners who form the ESL. And even Guardiola implied that. Absolutely spot on. We cannot. We cannot. Let this go now. If we not let it go, we cannot let it go. Uh, I've had a DM here from someone. <laughs> uh, as someone says that, as someone who works for the club, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate what you do. No worries, mate. No worries. Uh, <laughs> and another Manchester City employee <laughs> sent me a gift saying I won. <laughs> And I know exactly who that is, and I know what they're getting back, and good on you, mate, good on you. Um, well done, everyone. This is a victory for every single one of us, and like I tell you what, I, I don't represent this club. I don't. I'm just a fan like the rest of us, but I'll do my best always, always, and I should, and I should try harder. I'll always do my best as a fan just to stand up for what I believe in, and you guys are what I believe in. Fans, us as people. And I feel emotional. I'm going to bloody cry. <laughs> I genuinely feel that way. And it makes me that emotional. It does. Because football 
it's more than just football is more than just blokes kicking around it's a community it's a collection of people it's the people you stand next to at the ground when you i've gone to my times i've gone to football on my own getting emotional gone to football on my own there and stood there <laughs> And I've chatted to some person I've never met in my life, and by the end of a game, I feel like I know them. The amount of times you've sat there, you've sat in a pub, and you've been chatting to someone for hours because you met and you chatted about football. The amount of times you know, I went to get my haircut yesterday, chatting about football to the hairdressers, and you become mates of them. It is this glue that ties us all together. Football is a universal language that we love, and it's our game, and it should always be our game, and we should never let the clubs forget that. We should not let them forget this either. We need to stand there because it's for every single one of us, man. Um, Cassia saying City grabbing the balls and do what's right making me proud indeed don't let them forget this though man do not let them forget this because they genuinely genuinely have let us down they've let us down they've done it right now but they've done it right the wrong way and we need to remember that do not do not do not let them forget this because we can't let them forget this man we can't let them forget this Oh, this is wonderful, wonderful stuff. By the way, it's not been officially confirmed. There's no sources on that, but all the press reports have gone for it. And they, they've gone for it because it's true. It's They've obviously all been sourced and leaked and all that kind of stuff. Wonderful stuff. Uh, Baraf saying, very happy. It hurt badly to see City be part of it. We had nothing to gain from it. Happy tears as we are first to bump out. Our religion is safe. It is indeed, man. Um, it is indeed uh, absolutely wonderful stuff, man. Um I'm delighted, Logan. Thank you so much, man. I I'm just one of you guys, man. Like, and I feel I'm pretty. I'm, I can't deny I'm good at talking, so maybe I'm better at putting it into words than some people. But uh, and maybe that's what I'm lucky. And and if I ever feel like if you ever feel like I'm not doing representing the fans, just fucking tell me. I'll try my best. I'm flawed like the rest of us. I'm a hypocrite like the rest of us at times. But I do care. I promise you. And you all care. And we all in this together. And we need to remember that. We need to remember that. I'm delighted, man. I'm delighted for us. I literally was walking down the street getting out of the car with Nicola when I heard the news and I literally screamed and jumped up in the air and I like I felt, felt like we'd just scored. I felt like we'd just won a trophy. And this is our trophy. It ain't the club's trophy. This is the thing that we can celebrate as fans. A wonderful time to be alive because it shows that once again we are small. We are just a number on a spreadsheet. But I tell you what, it's a big spreadsheet. And if that spreadsheet walks away, they haven't got anything, then, have they? They haven't got anything. They haven't got anything. And football is quite literally nothing without fans. And this is come from the fans, man. If we'd all sat there and nodded along to it and gone, okay, we'll call this, I guarantee you, man, I guarantee you, the players and the managers, they would have reacted a little bit less to it. But because of that vitriol and because of that indignation, and because of that anger... <sighs> It's had an impact. It's had an impact on the players and the managers. And they would have felt that way already. But once again, our indifference could have made this real. Remember that next time something happens. Remember that next time they try and hike the season tickets, given everything that we've gone for through a pandemic. Remember that next time they try and do something moral and absolutely against the spirit of the game. We need to remember this lesson that we've learned. We really, 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 really do. Ay, sweet victory! Great job, Stephen the Redman TV, making us proud. No worries, mate. Always, they're good people and they care about their clubs. They really do care about their clubs over at Redman TV. They are passionate fans and they care, and we all do, and we all do, and that is literally what matters. Chris and Red uh, Paul are absolute top top blokes. Is the starting step to fix football, DB? I absolutely right. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. We need to remember this. What we need to <laughs> don't let this go. Don't let this go. Do not let it go. Do not let it go. I need to need to see more news. I'm sure there's been more breaking news. I'm trying to follow it all on Twitter right now uh, as we see it. Uh, apparently, City have declined to comment for legal reasons. Arsenal are leaving now as well. Uh, Sources said the letter to that withdrawal has been sent. And it was never a binding contract. It would have been in principle. It would have been uh, a commitment to staying. Uh, this is an absolute shambles for them. It's a fucking shambles, but it was built on nothing. It was built... It wasn't built on soul or good intentions. It was it was a business decision. I understand. I understand that business happens, and I understand that owners looking to make money for their club, and I understand City followed. But don't let him forget it. Don't let him forget it because this is about all of us. This is about all of us. A thousand people watching. It shows you exactly how much this means to every single one of us. I've never been prouder of the fan base. I have never been prouder. This is bigger than any game of football. This is more important. Then this moment right now, and I mean it, it's more important than 93 20 because it shows that the fans literally do matter. I, I'm not exaggerating here. This is a victory for the fans. Remember this. 
this is a victory for us and we are the only thing that matters in football only thing that matters um I'm, oh, I've just worn myself out emotionally and physically. Uh, I'll read some comments. Will Liverpool do the same? I think they're going to have to, Blaze of Fire. I don't know if they haven't already, but I think they're going to have to. They are going to have to because um, because they're all pulling out. Uh, it's going to, it's crumbling. It's crumbling like the empire that they built on sand and greed uh, and soullessness. And it's crumbling and it will continue to crumble. Uh, get the Glazers out. Yes, United fans have got that trending Woodward out. Get them out of the clubs, man. I was my, some of my best friends are United fans. Um, I've grown up in Manchester. I've been surrounded them. Get them out. Get them out. And I'm with United fans on this. I am with United fans on this. Get bloody Cronky and a lot of them out as well, man. The ones pushing this. The ones pushing this horrible, horrible, squalid, tepid, soulless monstrosity, man. It ain't. It ain't what we need. It ain't what we need. Get them out of our of our football. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, Kieran saying, tears of joy. We need 50 plus one and we need to reform UEFA. We need to wipe out corruption in the beautiful game. And Kieran's referring to the fan ownership there. And I agree. I agree. The fans should have the final say always. Uh, Oof as well saying, probably showed 90 minutes of the MLS. Uh, yeah, Joe, it's probably true. And that's enough to scare anyone off. Man, imagine football without relegation. I don't know how you guys do it. I know some people have been normalised and they're used to it, but if that isn't football. It will never be football. And we should always remember that. It isn't football. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful time to be a City fan. A t- wonderful time to be a football fan. Don't ever, ever, ever forget this moment. Don't let the club forget it either. They need reminding. They need to be held to this. We need to be held to this. Guys, this is a wonderful time. I'm delighted for every single one of you. I'm genuinely delighted for every single one of you. Um, Richie saying, I think the government needs to, be, to reform football ownership to be similar to the German ownership model where fans have a vote 51%. And I, I agree. I agree entirely because football is not your usual business. Football has this unbreakable bond with the fans. Football means so much to the community. Football means more than just a bunch of players on the pitch. Football is about years and years of community. Years of that. It's about going to games with friends. It's about sat there chatting. It's about an identity, man. It's about everything. It's about absolutely everything. It's about more than just business. It's done. It's finished. It's dead. Fuck them all. And I mean that. And I mean fuck our owners as well because they've gone with this and as well they have to apologise and they have to make it up for us. Super League is off. It's over. It's done. That's the end of it. Delighted. Absolutely delighted. Delighted. Guys, I'm going to go and wind down and get a brew because I need it. (laughs) You're all awesome. Love you loads. Don't let this go now. Hold on to it. In a bit, guys. In a bit. (laughs) 